Jesus, whose real name was Yisaya, H3470, whose mother, Levite, the Zabbas H2076, which means, those who know, the priests, the Zabbas. Mayama, Miriam for the Bedouin Ishmaelites, Marie, at Edom, Luke chapter 1 verse 15, Mary, Mayama, from the Congo verb, Yamaha, meaning pain in Kikongo, echo name, gotten from the sister of Massa, Moses. So Mayama was certainly the result of the other tribes of the great Limbus priests, the Zabas, Levites in your Bibles, the clan of the Merari, today M-O-L-A-R-I, or B-A-L-A-R-I Bakongo Lario, or at least linguistically, Genesis chapter 46 verse 11, the Merari or M-O-L-A-R-I, B-A Laris, were the most important clans of the Zabas, Levites, once having 12 cities Joshua chapter 21 verse 40, having encompassed other clan of Levite Limbas, including in their dialect, the Ki Lari, because the word, save, issue, come, providence, Yaka come for the Ba and Gala, and Hebrew Yiddish Kazars Edomite Amalekites, Yasha H3467, Yasa, conjugated, Yissa, in the Lari's Congo as the word Yissa, it is the same word in Biblical Hebrew, which means, come, save, issue, the Arabs, Bedouin, Semites people, don't they call Jesus, Isa, Isa, Jesus. Besides the equivalent of the Congo Lari's verb, Yissa, to come, to save, in Kituba, is the verb Kuisa, it is thus, that with the verb Lari's Congo, Yissa, that one understands the influence, the power of the tribes of the Bakongo, the Ba Lari's on the fate of Isolele, -E, ancient Israel. So, why Issa, Yah, H3470, he who comes in the name of Yah, same name, As the prophet Isaiah, of your Bibles, such was his name, such will be his name Congo not Zeus, Gazeus, Yoshua, Yesou, or Jesus, leave these names of Zeus, Greek deity, to the Edomites and all those who follow the great prostitute their mama Katha. Remember that he Yahweh forbids us from making mention with our mouths of the names of foreign gods Exodus 23:13 let us read the real and Bakongo name of he that the world calls Jesus let's go to Matthew chapter 23 verse 39 for I tell you you will not see me anymore until you say that is his real name must come out of your mouth but what name blessed is he who comes Yisa in the name of Yah translated from the Lord Yah it is Congo, the angel, which had seen Massa and Yozua. He is the one who bears, and who has always bore the name Yah. Read Exodus chapter 23 verses 20 to 21 Yes, Congo, this is our Yah Yah, firstborn, Colossians chapter 1 verse 15. Yisaya, John, 1921, is the king of the Kongos, Edom, through his film industry, blasphemy, his title, mocks him by calling him King Kong, King of the Congos, Revelation chapter 13 verse 6. Yisaya, H3470, one that comes in the name of Yah not Jesus you will understand it by reading this book full of revelation. Notice how the people called him Matthew chapter 21 verse 9, those who preceded and those who followed Jesus cried, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes, Y-I-S-S-A, in the name of the Lord, Yah. Hosanna in the most high places. Quote. So the white Jesus, Edomite with blue eyes, is only a pure fantasy Eurocentric of which Paul had prophesied in these terms, Romans chapter 1 verse 25, they the Edomites, who changed the truth of he Yahweh into falsehood. Another prophecy is in Romans chapter 1 verse 23, and they EDOM, have changed the glory of incorruptible he Yahweh into images depicting a corruptible man. Who is the corruptible man, shameless? Hebrew 12 16, that there is neither unchaste nor profane as Esau, the Mindels, who for a meal sells his birthright, to these fools who stubbornly continue to believe in Jesus Edomite Mindel, ask yourself, is it shameful that a man has long hair? If you say, yes, because the Bible says so, your Mindel Jesus is a big lie 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 14-15, does nature itself not teach you that it is a shame for man to have long hair? Paul, Pala, Wet, Saint, in the Congo language, whose name Congo was also Sala which became Saul in your Bibles choose, chooses, in Congo Ba Lari language echo name, 
of the first chosen king, first king of Isolele, read Acts chapter 22 verses 7 to 8. So Sala, who wrote this sentence, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, Yisaya Congo, appeared to him, he saw him 1 CORINTHIANS. 15 to 8. Was he not a Pharisee before his conversion? Acts chapter 23 verse 6. He knew Jesus, Yisaya, he knew the disciples of Yisaya, whom he persecuted 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 9. So Yisaya had no long hair as Edomite propaganda make you believe in movies, pictures, and statues, and it is a shame, for a man, to have long hair. 1 CORINTHIANS 1114 15, because this, characterizes an effeminate man, and there is no place in the kingdom for the effeminate 1 CORINTHIANS 6 9 10, beloved, Bantu and Mekong's brothers, it is an abomination, but awake, why do you sleep? Others will say, but my Jesus, Yisaya is spirit, so he has no color, really. What does Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 tells you? Is Yisaya not the same, yesterday, today, and F-O-R-E-V-E-R-Y? Beloved, know that there are carnal bodies and spiritual bodies, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 44. What about Yisaya? Did he have a spiritual body after his resurrection? Yes, a black body and 100% Bantu. His resurrection to prove that he had kept the same appearance, given the fact was seen and recognized John chapter 20 verse 25, did he have a spiritual body? Yes we can read evidence of this in Luke chapter 24 verse 39. Conclusion. The spiritual bodies have a color and the race of Yisaya Congo as Bantu. The flocks of fools, in lack of arguments, will tell you, it doesn't matter that Yisaya Congo Christ, be red, blue, black or white, what matters is his message. Bunch of idiots. But what is his message? Have the love of the truth 2 THESSALONISSIANS 2 10 minus 12 is the love of the truth the love of the lie. The dogs of EDOM, bark, send me messages, I get tons of emails like that bunch of idiots, don't you know that there are two gospels? The gospel of truth, whose person is Yisaya of whom these soldiers and defenders are his sheep, John chapter 14 verse 6 and the gospel of falsehood whose father is the devil and his offspring the Edomites, Mindels, and the enemies of he yah Ave, and the dogs of Edom, 1 J-O-H-N. 2.22 and John chapter 8 verse 44 if you love lies you are for the devil, if you love the truth, you are for Yisaya because he is the truth, but prove that you love the truth by defending it, not by denying the truth, under mindsets. Here is what the Bible says 2 John chapter 1 verse 7, For many seducers have entered the world, who do not confess that Jesus Christ came in body. He who is such is the seducer and the antichrist. In other words, we must not be ashamed to confess that Yisaya came in body, if he had a body, it means he had a color, if he had a body, it means he belonged to a tribe, Hebrew. 7.14, if he had a flesh it was that was born of a people. Why do the Antichrists want to stop us from talking about Yisaya and his people? What was his mission? Was it not only to save his people? Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. She will give birth to a son, and you shall give him the name Yisaya, he that shall save his people from their sins. Not the whole world but his people. The twelve Bantu kingdoms and the Bantu captives sons of slaves, what is this people that Yisaya has came to save? Beloved let's read the scriptures. Matthew chapter 2 verse 6, And you, Bethlehem, L-E-K-O-U-M-O-U. -O -U. This name came with our fathers from Israel, Isolele, and still exists in Congo Brazzaville H3899 land of Yaoundé Ya Congo, Judah, you are certainly not the least among the main cities of Yaoundé, for out of you shall come a leader, Nakaka, who will graze Israel, Isolele, my people. He did not come to make the new world order, or to save mankind, but for this Matthew chapter 15 verse 24. I was sent only for the lost sheep of the house of Isolele, -L -E. Luke chapter 1 verses 68 to 69. Blessed be He Yah Abe, the He of Isolele, -L -E, from what he has visited and redeemed his people. 69 and aroused unto us a mighty savior in the house of david his servant to redeem and save his people 
the twelve Bantu kingdoms, his dispersed and worshippers living beyond the rivers of Kush, from central to south Africa, Isaiah chapter 18 verses 1 to 7 and above all Zephaniah chapter 3 verses 10 to 20. Our duty is to identify this people, according to the spirit of the prophetic truth. Others will say but the people has undergone mixtures, the intermingling, they'll give you Exodus chapter 12 verse 38, a multitude of people of all species ascended with them, they also had considerable flocks of sheep and oxen. They use this verse, justifying that a heteroclite people come out of Egypt and formed a multiracial Israel, with the true Israel, Jacobin's Bantu Isolele, or son of Jacob, they will tell you that Isolele Israel, was multiracial which is totally wrong, we're going to prove it. What your fake pastors do not know is that it is true that the Bantu came out of Egypt with strangers, but they did not mingle with them, and the book of Numbers chapter 11 verse 4, teaches us that, this multitude of people of many races began to incite the people to revolt, to lust, let's read Numbers chapter 11 verse 4, the gathering of people who were in the midst of Israel, this multitude of people of all kinds, was seized with lust, and even the children of Isolele, Bantu, began to cry again and said, who will give us meat to eat? This verse distinguishes between Israel, Isolele, and this multitude of foreigners, the latter were among the people, but the Bible says, that they were not the people, but were in the middle of the people, they incited the people of Holy Bantu Jacobin to lust and certainly prompted the people to the great rebellion of Exodus chapter 32 and to the regrettable abominable cult of the golden calf, they were certainly exterminated. After the conquest of the land of Canaan, land of the Oromo, Somalis, Tutsis, Falashis, Maasai, Luo who are Canaanites. The Bible no longer speaks of this multitude of aliens of any kind, for the sharing of the land of Canaan, was made according to the tribes of Bantu Isolele, -E. no stranger inherited a land Joshua chapter 18 verses 4 to 7, choose three men per tribe, and I will make them leave. They will rise, roam the country, draw a plan for sharing, and return to me five they shall divide it into seven parts, Judah will remain within its limits at midday, and the house of Joseph will remain within its limits to the north point six so you will draw a plan of the country in seven parts, and you will bring it to me here. I will cast for you the spell before he ya aid, our holy father seven but there shall be no part for the Levites in your midst, for the priesthood of he ya aid is their inheritance, and Gad, Reuben and the half tribe of Manasseh received their inheritance, which Massa, servant of he ya aid, gave them on the other side of the Jordan, to the east. Quote. The sequel Joshua chapter 19. No stranger, or multitude of all hope coming out of Egypt with the people of holy Bantu people did not have a share in the sharing, only the twelve Bantu tribes were heirs. Know that every time the people came out of captivity, or dispersal, they always returned with great multitudes of foreigners, and there was always separation, proof, after the Babylonian captivity, Nehemiah chapter 13 verses 1 to 3. In this time, one read in the presence of the people in the book of Moses, and it was found written that the Ammonite and the Moab should never enter the assembly of he ya -Ab, two because they had not come in front of the children of Israel with bread and water, and because they had called against them at silver price Balaam in order to curse them, but our he ya -Ab changed the curse into a blessing. Point three, when the law was heard, all foreigners were separated from Israel isolele. -L -E. All as clear the foreigners, the others, Bongoy, were separated from the Bantu people. Including the Bantu who pray to foreign women. Those Bantu who refused to repent, to divorce their foreign wives, these Bantus were also excluded from the holy Bantu Congo people, so avoid mixed marriages, and meditate well Nehemiah chapter 13 verses 23 to 27. And when Yisaya Congo Christ, will return, here is what he will do Matthew chapter 25 verses 31 to 33, when the Son of Man comes in his glory, with all the angels, he sit on the throne of his glory. Point three two all nations will be assembled before him. He would separate them from each other, as the shepherd separates the sheep from the goats, 33 and he will put the sheep to his right, and the goats to his left. Point three four then the king will say unto those who shall be to his right, come, ye who are blessed of my father, take possession of the kingdom that was prepared for you from the foundation of the world. 
Matthew chapter 25 verses 31 to 33, announces unto us a separation between the Bantu and the other nations. But WHO are the sheep? Psalms 100 to 3 it is the Bantu isolele -E -L -E, who are the goats. It is the symbol of the nation's Daniel chapter 8 verse 21.